Hello, I am Kevin Treader, Product Marketer with Microchip Technologies Analog Division. With the rapid expansion of wireless capabilities that the electronics industry has seen over the years, the presence of electromagnetic interference, or EMI, is becoming a larger issue. This edition of Amplitudes will take a brief look at EMI and what is being done within amplifiers to combat its adverse effects. So what is electromagnetic interference? EMI is a disturbance that can affect any electrical system, whether through radiated electromagnetic energy or through conducted electromagnetic energy. Radiated EMI can be generated from a variety of sources outside of the electrical system, such as mobile phones, wireless gaming controllers, wireless headsets, radio transmitters, just to name a few. Conducted EMI can also come from a variety of sources. One common source is radiated EMI that couples into the traces and wires within the electrical system in question. Conducted EMI may also be generated within the system itself, such as from a switching power supply. EMI affects amplifier circuits by causing a shift in the offset voltage, which causes performance degradation. Amplifier manufacturers have taken steps to minimize the effects of these unwanted signals. For example, Microchip Technologies MCP6N16 instrumentation amplifier features integrated second-order filters on the input pins to enhance EMI rejection. The typical performance of these filters is available in the data sheet, as shown here. A 100 millivolt peak signal at common EMI frequencies is subjected to the input of the amplifier, and the resulting shift in output at the output of the amplifier is measured. Experiments have shown that the integrated on-chip filters enhance the rejection of these unwanted interference signals by over 40 dB, or a factor of 100. For more information regarding electromagnetic interference and to explore solutions for minimizing the adverse effects, I recommend the application note AN1767, published by Microchip Technology. For more information, please visit www.microchip.com linear. Until next time, Thank you for joining me for this edition of Amptitudes.